Flying Brian continuing our explore of upstate New York. We are now in Oswego on the shores of Lake Ontario and behind me is the Ontario Fort. We're going to go inside and take a look. Way up behind me is Lake Ontario. Beautiful. And let's go on in to the fort, right through that portal. As you exit the Sally Port, the first thing you come upon is the parade grounds. Which is surrounded by several buildings. Protecting the entrance is the guardhouse. Let's take a peek inside. This is the enlisted men's barracks and mess. Sounds like they are sound asleep in there. This building was constructed in 1842, although the fort itself goes back much farther. Tucked in the corner there looks like a three inch rifle and it's limber. Ooh, powder magazine. Don't want nobody smoking around here. This is the officer's quarters. Let's see what's inside. It says these were apartments for officers and their families. This room is set up as the quartermaster's office. Off in the distance there is the Fort Cemetery. Ooh, got to see what's inside here. Deep down inside Fort Ontario, and you know it's gotta be done. Spiz! Spiz! One, two, Spiz! Very nice echo. Excellent. There's the parade ground again. It dates from the 1700s. First built by the British, destroyed by the French, 
built by the British, taken over by the Americans, and then destroyed by the British because they were not happy that the Americans had it. And then the Americans rebuilt it again during the 1830s, I think it was. The configuration that it appears to be uh, that it appears today. I really love looking around these old structures. That is all from Fort Ontario. And remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride, and thanks for watching.